Now all this week, Denver 7 is going in depth on keeping kids safe online. And right now Congress is debating the legal responsibility social media mm -hmm. platforms should have for the content our kids see. While lawmakers argue about the laws, parents are trying to navigate this new world every single day in real life. Denver 7's Rob Harris asked a child psychologist about the impact she's seen and what age she thinks is okay to let them join. Experts across fields are coming together to say our kids need a change. An analysis by JAMA Pediatrics found that anxiety in kids has almost doubled since 2012. One in five youth worldwide now say they struggle with anxiety symptoms. Now there are many factors involved with our kids' mental health, but psychologists tell us social media is a key one. I think there are some positives that I've seen with it, and then there's also some negatives that have kind of gone with it. Dr. Amanda Enzi is a clinical psychologist specializing in child and family therapy. She's watched firsthand as social media has changed the game in so many ways. For some kids, social media is a powerful tool for starting to be able to make connections with others, particularly if they have social anxiety. And the flip side of it is it can be a place that is very negative for a lot of kids. They really find social media as a place where it's confirming all the scariest thoughts that they have and all their negative perceptions of the world. And the more they access it, the more it just keeps feeding them these information that are concern, confirming some of their deepest, darkest fears. And, and then it really has a big impact on their mental health. Statistics show that anxiety and depression, especially among young people, is on the rise. What role do you think social media has played in that? This is my personal opinion, but I think social media is an accelerant. When a child is struggling with feeling isolated, maybe they're not being asked to go to some peer events, they then get on Instagram or on TikTok or on Snapchat and they see all these photos of their friends out doing things with others and it just accelerates sort of the intensification of these feelings of isolation or loneliness. Dr. Enzi's among a growing number of psychologists and therapists with a new mantra, wait till eight. The common accepted age range is, is eighth grade. And I think eighth grade is a good place to start with social media because parents still have a higher level of control and oversight. So they can actively teach their child how to engage with technology and social media in a meaningful and safe way. If you wait until your child is 16 to give them social media, first of all, that's very hard. But second of all, then you don't have as much of that oversight. And so really parents taking an active role in kind of teaching and learning about social media themselves, I think is, is really important. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. Really interesting mm -hmm. that, because I, I was thinking 13 still seems young, but she makes a good point that you can yeah. start to have those conversations. Yeah, well, yeah. our kids are not to eighth grade yet, but already kind of formalizing a plan on how to deal with it yeah. when that time mm -hmm. comes. Uh, but Denver 7 is wrapping up this series on online safety tomorrow uh, because you might be gifting your kids mm -hmm. devices and technology for the holidays. Social media will uh, be a topic that yeah. follows shortly after. And we have uh, an example and show you some of the controls you can add to keep them safe online.